dentistry and orthodontics. Chesterfield experts are encouraging parents to start talking to their kids about drinking and drugs as early as nine years old. This is all part of a new campaign to keep your kids safe. Sarah Bloom reports in this week's RVA Parenting. You may see these posters out and about. They say talk, they hear you, and they give you all sorts of tips, but the main takeaway is to start this important conversation and maybe sooner than you'd expect. They're hard conversations, especially knowing what our kids may face. There's definitely a lot of underage use of alcohol and other drugs. It's why Eric Fall with Chesterfield County is involved in helping parents learn what they can do to help their kids beat those statistics. It doesn't have to be one big sit down, let's talk, but a bunch of small conversations, taking advantage of moments when the topic comes up or, you're, or you see you're watching a, a movie or TV show People are drinking or using drugs. Eric says the goal is to talk to your kids about this before they're offered a drink. So that when the peer pressure comes, you've helped them create refusal skills, strategies, how to say no, strategies, maybe how to text a, a family member and say, I need help. If you're in a situation where you're being pressured, you also want to be a reliable source of information. The program focuses on five things. Show you disapprove of underage drinking. Show you care about your child's happiness. Show you're a good source of information. Show you're paying attention and will know if your child drinks. And build skills for your child. Show them how to turn down a drink and still look cool. The same applies to drugs or vaping. Some parents may find that their kids have already tried drinking or drugs. I think you want to be as honest uh, you know, as you can about, um, again, about the, the dangers, about you not wanting them to use, why you don't want them to use. They're going to th throw things at, at you like, well, it, it's, it's legal now, so how bad could it really be? A big thing that, that I use when I talk to teenagers is talking about the developing brain. Eric says the brain is not fully developed until you're 26 or 27 and that it's easy for the teenage brain to become addicted to alcohol or drugs. So that's one of the reasons why waiting until you're 21 is so important. Their ability to become addicted just goes way up, way up. And especially the way that they use the, the binge drinking, for example, is, it, it makes it more likely to become addicted to be diagnosed as alcoholic. There is a lot of good information to help parents with this conversation. You just have to talk about it. Just start. Lots of small talks can add up over time. On your side for RVA Parenting, I'm Sarah Bloom.